Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful hump day? Aww, How you doing, Teddy? Teddy? I almost called you Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a family channel. His blue is kind of faded. Like if you rub it, it goes. It actually gets on your hand a little bit, but it's like dust. They said it'll come off in a few days, but uh, I'm not a fan of it. TQ likes it. Miley doesn't really care for it, but Sean Boy really likes it. Sean so. Boy was like so like. I didn't think you were going to do it. And he's <laughs> he been telling really everybody about it. <laughs> yeah, he really didn't know what to think. He did not think that I would do it. Miley was pretty upset, I'm not going to lie. She's yeah. like, you made him ugly. <laughs> She's like, Mom, why? <laughs> right? And pretty much the same uh, reaction I had. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we got some stuff we got to get into today. We got to go out. I guess I'll just let you see it. We got to do some stuff for softball. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to get back here and I'm going to show you some stuff that a lot of you have been asking about. There's a and, mat. Uh, a nap. around my face. It's actually really warm this morning. Yeah, it's nice. It's supposed to be like 50, but guys, the bottom is about to fall out of this mug, and winter is actually going to come and show up here in Ohio. So Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, we get to Friday, do some work. Friday, Saturday. Yeah, this weekend, next week. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we're not doing a whole lot. Just sitting here with Jason at Rejo's, designing some jerseys for softball. I got lured in. <laughs> You got lured in. <laughs> this is what happens when we're bored. We don't do anything but find things to uh, take up time, right? Mm -hmm. Like installing new mailboxes. Yeah, we got that done. Yeah. Uh, TQ's in here stealing pens. Jason had to call the cops on us. It's gonna be a bad day, guys. TQ's going to jail. <laughs> pen thief here. But she did get plenty of pens, so our our computer desk is gonna be restocked. So. It's just pens to give away. Anybody want a pen? I'm not giving them away. We just got them free. <laughs> All right, so we're back here at home, and it has been two seasons, guys, that we've been using the Equipment Defender racks. So we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the things we like about them, some of the things I think they could do a little bit better, and, uh, yeah, just kind of talk about uh, our overall opinion with them. So you want to start, TQ? Yeah, we'll start with the trimmer racks because I use those. Uh, 90% of the time. TQ does. I can't even sit here and lie to you guys. Yeah. TQ rocks the racks 99% of the time. So <laughs> let's go ahead and hear. myself like 90% of the time because you do trim. In reality, I'd say it's probably about 75%. Okay. I sure. I'll take 25%. But anyways, <laughs> go ahead, TQ. Let's talk so, about So after, what, two seasons now? Yep. Still, I mean, we did transfer them, but they're still sturdy. We always make sure we still, um, you know, check all the little nuts or whatever they're called. What are those called? Uh, just bolts, nuts, nuts screws, just whatever. Just to make sure because over time, you know, the back and forthness, it's going to come loose a little bit. But you just want to make sure. And it's not too often that we have to really. How often do you say we do go through with the Allen wrench and stuff and tighten stuff up and just or check at it? At least once a month for that. Okay. Um, and then we do hit it with fluid film. Mm-hmm. Um, probably every three months or so. You want to keep to make sure it's all greased up. And yeah, you want to keep your. Yep, you want to keep your locks and stuff nice and greased up, guys, because that can become an issue here if you know it gets gunked up. You know we're in leaves and debris and all that stuff, so this thing can get gunked up if you don't keep it somewhat clean. So what I like to do is we'll go through about once every three months, guys, and we'll spray these at the car wash. So one day when I'm in there just taking care of everything, we'll go ahead and open these up, spray them out really good, let them dry on a nice hot day, and then we'll come back in with some new grease, fluid film, whatever we have on hand, and uh, we'll go ahead and take care of them. You do not want to put like your normal grease inside of here though, guys, because grease attracts dirt, and you, you don't want these gumming up on you any more than what they're already going to. So I'd highly recommend like a fluid film or even using like a garage door grease that, uh, that'll that keep them nice and lubricated. So anything else with these, TQ? I, I just think that whenever the trimmers are on it, it's nice and stable. Um, these platforms here that hold on to the engine part, mm -hmm. it, it helps out a lot. There's not that extra jiggle at the end. Gives that engine a nice support yeah, there. And it does. It, and, I mean, these are easy to, you know, handle. Th these are definitely a nice addition. I know even with the other uh, uh, brand out there, Green Touch, they had to uh, put these onto theirs also years ago because people's engines were snapping off whenever they would go over railroad tracks or I hit a big bump. That, yeah. That's a lot of weight to be there on the end. So yeah. anything else you can tell us about these? They, they work really well every day for you. Do you have any issues with them? Um, no, I will say they are adjustable height-wise. So mm -hmm. if you need them a little higher, need them a little lower, I mean, that's a good feature. Um, but I mean, I don't have any negative about it. 
Okay. Really? So, I mean, it, it works well for us. And, okay. And, and these racks, you can... Them. What was that? I would continue using them. For sure. Yeah. Uh, these you can uh, put inside in enclosed trailers or open trailers. They just come with different brackets to do it. I will say when we installed these guys, uh, they do take some work to install. There are a lot of little pieces you got to put together, and it just takes some time uh, moving them onto your trailer also. Uh, you know, just be prepared to spend, you know, half a day there installing these racks whenever you go to do it. So let's move on to the next one. So next here we have the Equipment Defender version 2. These are the V2s, I guess you could call it. We had the original uh, backpack racks. Uh, they were okay, but they did have some issues, guys. They didn't want to stay tight and stuff. And this version is much better. We're much more happier with it. So uh, if you're not familiar with the Equipment Defender uh, V2 rack, basically it has the lock in here. Uh, you can unlock here. And then the cover has also been updated from the original version. This one, when you put it up on there, it stays up on there. The other one would come off. It would slip off. But... Uh, you just go ahead and click it, you unlatch it. This goes over top of your handle, okay? So you're gonna come in, lock it in, then lock it, and this rack cannot go anywhere. I mean, they're gonna literally have to cut this bar in half to get your blower up out of here, and by then you're gonna be punching them in the face, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways, you can just pull this out, lift your backpack out of the way, come back in, set it right down in there, make sure it's nice and snug, bring your rack back up, put it back in there, lock it up if you're gonna go into a restaurant, uh, you know, grab a drink, whatever. You don't have to worry about somebody snagging your backpacks off of your trailer. It's a good, efficient way, and I highly recommend it. Once you can afford the racks, make sure you guys get some form of security because the thieves are out there, guys, and if they can take something very easy off of your trailer or your truck, it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. You may have gotten lucky for a long time. I know I did for a long time before we got these ones, and uh, yeah, you're just pressing your luck, and you don't want to, you know, for the, the price of all the racks that we have on the trailer here, probably around a thousand bucks roughly you know that's one or two backpacks or a backpack and a couple trimmers or something like that so if you get hit one good time right there boom you're out the money that you could have saved right here with your equipment defender racks now let's say i have two different brands of backpack blowers mm -hmm. and even two different sizes okay well this year as you know we've had four different we had the br600 at the beginning of the year we had the uh br800 uh, the Echo 8010 and the Echo 770, four different models there, big, small, and you can conform these and make these fit any of those backpacks. Uh, there were some people saying falsely out there that you couldn't fit the 8010 and the 800 in there, and simply it was just not true, guys. And I, it was whenever I talked to them, I'm like, hey, equipment defender, can I fit these in there? Because these are my two main lowers, the, you know, the 8010. They're like, yeah, it'll fit. So when I got it here, I was excited to try it out, and it 100% does fit in there. Yes, it is snug, but it will fit, and you're going to want it to be snug in there as it is. Now, I know this here, the tube is a lot bigger on the 8010. Yep. How did that work for it? It still fits. You can move these, guys. You can bend these in and out, make them tighter, looser, whatever you need to do. Uh, I will say one mistake that I made putting these racks on this side that we kind of had to adapt to is the wind blowing this way would sometimes blow the pipes, the tubes out, and they would fall on the ground. So what I what I did is I made these super tight on the bottom of the tube, guys, or I would take a uh, bungee strap and go ahead and just strap it around it. But that's simply because I put these racks on the right side of the trailer and the wind's blowing into the tube. If they were on that side, it would be blowing against this and there would be no possible way for it to come out. Uh, other than that, guys, these have worked out awesome. I'm a lot more happy with this version compared to the, the version one of the Equipment Defender backpack racks. All right, so I'm not sure if I said before we hop into the gas can racks, the backpack racks, guys, the version twos, are only one season old. We got those last year about this time and installed them, but the trimmer racks are two years. Uh, this is a two-year review on those and the gas can racks and the tool rack is about uh, four months old. So let's go ahead and hop back into the gas can racks. These are two seasons old, and I will say they've done great. I absolutely love them. Uh, I guess one of the only knocks I could say on it is the paint pills fairly easy, and the moisture and the water kind of gets trapped inside of here, and that's kind of doing a little bit faster damage, if you know what I'm saying. And especially because of us, we leave the gas cans in here 99% of the time. So you'll notice here, that you're getting a little bit of wear through, okay? The paint's peeling, gasoline's always getting spilled in here, water's building up in here, freezing, thawing, uh, you know, and this area doesn't get much sunlight to dry up. So with these being in here, and say it rains one day, that rain gets caught in here, 
There's no way of getting air under that gas can. We're not taking it out that often because 99% of the time we're filling up right from the spout here. Uh, you know, filling up the two cycle, coming over here to the, you know, the five gallon. Uh, but overall, guys, for the price of these, these are awesome. You can lock these if you want to. They don't come with locks on them. I, I, I'm not sure if these ones you can order a lock on them. But overall, guys, the 2.2 gallon uh, gas can rack and the five gallon gas can rack, I mean, they're doing the job they're supposed to do. Hold gas, keep it on the trailer, and they're secure. Last but not least, we have the hand tool rack here. Like I told you guys, uh, we haven't had this a real, real long time. I'm thinking maybe like six months. Uh, we had it probably the last four months of the season. So we have been using it, but we haven't put a full season under it just yet. All right, guys, there's our opinion on the Equipment Defender racks. We've had most of them for two seasons, and that's a long time. You've seen us use them, you know. Every single day. Yeah, every single day. We got some wear and tear out of them, and we like them still, so we're going to keep them. For sure, guys. <laughs> 74 accounts, not this last year, but the year before, and 64 this past year. So we're using them every day of the week, five days a week, six days a week. Mm -hmm. The first three months of last year, <laughs> seven days a week. So these things are being put to the test, guys. You guys see the videos. You see how much we use our stuff. You know we're not bull crapping you. I'm not a big product pusher, guys. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big affiliate guy. Uh, but I will say the equipment defenders have been great, and we definitely want to rep them, and we do have a code for them. It's code Spencer. Mm -hmm. That will save you 10%. It's basically the sales tax. And I think that if we can save you guys a few bucks and help somebody out a little bit, why not, guys? It's now, not hurting now anything. Now, we do get a little kickback from that. So yep, we do. So we're just letting you know. I believe it's 5% we yeah. get a kickback yeah. of. So we definitely appreciate that. But as always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Take you out. Peace.